welcome to another episode of Market Tours with Cup of TJ. <laughs> How dramatic was that on a scale of one to 10? I think that was a six, let me do it again. Welcome to another episode of Market Tour with Cup of TJ. We're here in Seoul, Korea, at one of the oldest traditional markets here in the city. It's the oldest and it's one of the largest. And seriously, by the looks of it, it looks pretty darn big. Mm -hmm. In today's video, we're gonna walk around, stroll, and sample some of the traditional Korean street food you can find at this market. I'm pretty excited, I'm pretty hungry, as always. This street food tour is sponsored by Storyblocks Video, the place to get studio quality stock footage for a fraction of the price. They have a huge selection of footage, backgrounds, and after effects to help you get these shot to finish your video projects. All footage are created by professional filmmakers and hand-selected to make your project delicious. Unlike other stock media sites where you pay per clip, with Storyblocks Video, you download content with a subscription. Anything you download is yours to keep and use forever. 100% loyalty free. Click the link in description to sign up to Storyblocks Video today. Now, let's start our food tour. TJ, like or subscribe. <laughs> On today's episode of Food As Big As My Space, I present to you this. <laughs> I think the correct way to say it is hot dick. I messed, I effed that up. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, it's gonna pop up right here. Bing. Okay, so basically Bing. it's a giant rice doll. Inside there are veggies, there are noodles. It's fried, so the outer layer is super crispy and golden. I mean, I just love that it was laying in that oil. All right, I'm ready to bite into it because it smells amazing. Ready? Let's do this. Nom, nom, nom. Mmm. Wow. Yum. Oh. Let me take one more bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Inside is packed full of veggies and oh my gosh do you see that steam coming out Ooh, baby girl breathe that fire breathe that fire <laughs> there's like thick thick noodles and it's seriously the veggies is just falling out of the sink all right let's take another bite oh mm. oh my goodness a lot of these fried batter goods they are so thick when you bite into it, it's just like heavy, heavy, heavy. But this feels so light. You can really taste that scallion. Oh my gosh, this is the most satisfying feel. It's like warm, squishy, but also lightly crispy. Fantastic. This is definitely worth it. By the way, with these kind of stuff, you usually think it's like very touristy, so it's all tourists lining up. But when we were in line, it was all locals. That tells you something. Yes, it does, and that's the tea. On to the next. I can't get enough of this, never felt a feeling like this. Now you're mine. Give me some more. Give me some more. What you got? Do do do. It is time for some mandu. Now, it was so epic seeing them just wrap it, make it fresh downstairs. They have a whole spread of these wonderful dumplings. Is it dumplings or is it buns? Is it both? It feels like both. Let's take a bite into it. This is the kimchi version. There's one that's just with meat. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That is delicious. You guys know it's good when I take a bite and I'm like, just let me take another bite before talking about it. Holy smokes, guys. This is absolutely delicious. The dough to filling ratio is very, very balanced. You can just see that they packed this little dumpling. I mean, look at it. All the ingredients just falling out. And that's when you know it's a very good deal because they actually pack it instead of just being filled with dough. Let's take another bite. Oh, wow. You definitely taste the crunchiness from the kimchi, but it's not an overwhelming spice. There's a lot of stuff I tried in Korea so far has been so, so spicy, but this is pretty good. Just the right amount. Oh, oh my gosh. I take it back. This is pretty darn spicy. Just slow release kind of spice. Yes. 
Oh, now let me tell you guys something. This market is gigantic. It's huge. There's so many alleyways and turns, and most of the, the market sells like goods, like uh, crafts and um, clothing, shoes. These food stalls are kind of tucked away. There is a place as you exit five, it's the noodle alley. It's actually very close to here. It's really awesome because you can get a set menu. You can get like three, a big noodle, and then two smaller ones for about 5,000, 6,000 won. The problem is if you go, each person has to order a set. And so I have a cameraman. Hi, Rishi. We would have to order two sets, and that's about six bowls of noodles. That's just too much food. We didn't want to waste food. Right next to it is this spot, which you can order the noodles individually and you can get um, some of the mandus as well. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How's it going? Okay, so right in front of me, I have Korean cold noodles. It's niam niam, probably saying that right, but it's very similar to like Chinese liao mian. So what you're supposed to do is cut the noodles beforehand because the noodle strands are really, really long. Here I go. Don't trust me with the scissor though. I'm just gonna cut it. I'm sorry if I'm doing this wrong. This looks right. Oh, beesh. Ooh, okay, there we go. I have just Edward's scissor hand up my noodles and it's time to slurp. So this is bing bing miao mian, which means there's um, like the gochujang paste on the side, a chili paste on the side, and it makes it a little bit more spicy. Uh, let's take a slurp and see what this tastes like. Ready? My initial reaction is to blow on it, but it's cold noodles, so. Here we go. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Oh, no wonder you have to cut it because those noodles are super springy and very hard to like pull apart. So these are buckwheat noodles. They're definitely a little bit more gooier and chewier than most noodles, but the bite is very, very refreshing because it's just in this like light broth. And with the pairing of like the cucumbers and the pickles, it's just a wonderful springy noodle crunchy bite. Springy noodle crunchy bite. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Much, much, much later. <laughs> wow. I did it. Those were the hardest noodles to slurp ever. <laughs> if you guys come here in Korea during the summer, consider getting one of these. Okay, everybody, so I was walking and I saw this stall with like a bunch of display of fried stuff and fish cake, and I thought, Let's get a stick. So I got the variety stick, so it has all kinds of different flavors of fish cake. And let's just bite into it. Ready? Oh. Oh, yum. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, next. I'm just kidding. One second. Fish cake's texture has got a bouncy texture to it. In terms of this, like, there's not much flavor from the fish cake, but there is a lot of flavor from the savory hot dog. I wonder what the other ones will taste like. How should I do this? Do I have to finish this and then bite the next one? I think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so much of you. We definitely eat this stuff for the bounciness and the texture. It's very greasy. And this actually is like just kind of left out and then they microwave it to reheat it. But it's like one of those street food that is fun to chew, you know, and like weirdly you'll have random fish cake craving. So this is pretty good and I like that you can get a variety of flavor and this is only 2,500. Pretty cool, right? Wow. On to the next. <laughs> it's like we've been walking around so much. I feel kind of lightheaded. It's these, this whole market. It's really, literally, so fucking huge. Walking around after eating this, really salty and greasy. Still good though, in like a street food sense. Uh, it's time to get a juice. So this is freshly squeezed juice. And to be honest, the reason why I got it is because it looks so cute. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh my god. Look how cute that is. So we're gonna open it and try it. Um, how to do this? Look at this, I got octopus hands. 
This is dangerous. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> we have a heart attack. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I can't. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> she has to open it for me. Oh, Kazumita. Thank you. Oh, 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 yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Oh, so refreshing. Oh my gosh. Yep, tastes like a freshly squeezed orange. I think that's literally what it says on the sign. Freshly squeezed orange. No sugar added. Come and get your, get your own. Now the commercial break is over, on to the next thing. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of TJ and a lot of food in front of her. <laughs> Today we have a lot of food in front of me. I have the hair tail soup and it looks spicy AF. It looks very much like kimchi jjigae, which is just like spicy kimchi sauce. It is just red, red, red. It's covered in redness. And inside is hair tail fish. Hair tail fish is, uh, if you've ever seen it, it's like very long and, and silver and it looks like a belt. Uh, so like a tail, I guess. And you can see it here. It's cooked in several ways. You can fry it, you can put it in stew like they do here. And they actually, with the meal, they give you like a, the fried version right here as well. <laughs> so we're gonna try some of the soup and then try to dig into the fish. Ready? It was at this moment he knew. He fed up. Oh. Spicy. This feels like they just put in a ton of spicy sauce. They're like, suffer girl. <laughs> Let's take another spicy sip. Ooh. Ooh. After a few more sips, the spiciness starts to numb your tongue and it's all gonna be okay. Mm. <laughs> okay guys. So have you ever had um, kimchi soup or kimchi jjigae? It tastes like that, but you get a lot of savoriness from the fish boiled in there. This soup is so, so spicy. <laughs> I'm sweating through my pores. <laughs> Check that out, you guys. Ooh, the fish is just falling apart. It's been boiling in there for a while, I assume. Look at that. I wonder if there's gonna be a lot of bones. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, wow. That just fell apart on its own. It just like melted apart. Okay, so I'm gonna bite into this, but being very careful because I'm not sure if there are little bones. Mm. Mm -hmm. There are definitely little bones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on my plate. Besides there being bones, like, the meat really just falls apart. Look at that. Just fell apart. Ooh, it's coming out. Ooh, that nice split. Split, yes. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. That's, oh, this piece right here. I'm gonna dip it in some of this spicy soup so that it's nicely coated. Say goodbye. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm very surprised at how tender this fish is. It's not the most tender. Um, it's definitely got a chew to it, but it's quite nice, quite fresh. Dip it in some of the soup. The soup is really what makes it because it gives it so much flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I see. So I just want to let you guys see what the fried one looks like. Ooh. Yum. So there's definitely meat on here, but because it's such a thin fish, it you definitely have to like flake it apart and, and peel it and then get the meat out there. I don't recommend just biting into it, at least for me, because I'm really scared of little bones. Okay, you can see from here that there's so much little bones, so you just gotta be careful. You gotta like flick it off cautiously. Also, FYI, you can't go wrong with fried fish. Fried fish is always good. <laughs> also, so sorry for this, the, the rustling sound. They're just cleaning utensils in the back. 
that's what it's like to eat in the alleyways. You can get this entire set for 9,000, which I think is a pretty good deal, especially since this fish is like seafood. And the amount of fish you get in here is ridiculous. What is this? <laughs> I was like flipping and I was like, what is this? It's this, what's this? Let me take a bite. Mm. Mm, I think it's turnip. Yum, turnip's one of my favorite things. Oh. <laughs> I do love fish, I do enjoy it. But bony fish is always like such a hard eating experience, you know? It's very unpleasant in some way. So as delicious as this is, if you hate bones like me, you're gonna have a problem eating this. They try to make us order two sets as well because we have two people. Luckily, this lady is a lot nicer, so she didn't. Um, but just know that when you guys come to the market, that if you have two people, it's harder to do like food tours because they're gonna want you to order a whole set and it's gonna be a lot of food. And there you guys go. That was the tour of one of the largest and the oldest traditional market here in Seoul, Korea. What did you guys think? Oh my gosh. I thought there was a huge amount of stuff. It literally is so big when they, they were not lying about it being one of the largest. Is it? I think it's, it's the largest as well, and it's still so functional. A lot of things do repeat in terms of food, um, but you definitely get more like traditional foods here instead of the trendy street foods we get in Myeongdong. I definitely think it's a good place to walk, eat, explore, and shop on your travels here to Seoul. That was part of the video where I turn it back to you and I ask, which of the items that we tried today would you love to try? Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, thank you to our sponsor, Storyblocks Video. I'll leave the link in the description. Get all your stock footage there. Yes, like I did. Woohoo! All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Yeah.